first one's kind of for both of you. Jeff, talk to me a little bit about the casting process, and then I'd like to hear from you, Michael, about how you got involved in this project. Yeah, the casting. I mean, we made the movie from idea to the to finishing shooting. It was about five weeks. Um, we just came up with this idea of. Uh, we were both going through breakups and we just kind of thought we'll make a movie about it. Mm -hmm. Came up with an outline in about three weeks and uh, started shooting. So in that vein, like Michael's been an actor in New York for uh, 20 years, 15? 16. 16 years. And so he knows a lot of actors. And uh, most of the actors, the, the casting process was basically like, who can we get on this day? Right. You know. Yeah. And I met most of the actors on the day of the shoot. Uh, mm -hmm. I knew a few of them. Uh, but I mean, I've known Michael since we, I, we've known each other since we were eight years old. Right. So he was always, you know, going to be the <coughs> lead, because, you know, uh, yeah. but then with the other actors, for the most part, it was people that we were able just to find on the day of the shoot. Yeah, with a lot of the guy friends are just friends of mine who I've worked with, acted with, and mm -hmm. really respect as actors. And then the, the gal who plays Sarah, mm -hmm. Joanne, um, I, I actually only knew her boyfriend, but we'd gone to the same acting school, so mm -hmm. I figured it boded well. Now, you mentioned that, you know, you both had gone through breakups, uh, so it's obviously a very personal thing. Is it more a story of one breakup or the other, or is it kind of a mix? I mean, my impression was that the, the, uh, the outline was more, um, at least to me it seemed this way, the outline was more based on what I had gone through, mm -hmm. but then when we were actually shooting what, what, what Michael was, and this you can, I'm not going to speak for you, but uh, was more what since he was, you know, it was improv, so it was more what you were going through in a way. I mean, in the end, I, I the, the the scenes that are going on didn't really happen to either one of us. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So True. it it really was it was an amalgamation, I think, of um, two breakups as far as what we were feeling and what we wanted to convey. But then when it came down to it, it was about what location we could get and what um, which determined. Uh, and actually, then aspects of the actors like the, the uh, Garrett and Dylan, mm -hmm. we sort of um, exploited certain personality traits that they yeah. already had, yeah. and um, and that led us to the scenes that that happened. So it was more of a tone thing, less of like an event. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it was loosely, loosely, and then when it ended up, like, it was very loosely based on things that you know. Some of them were very loosely based on things that had happened to me, but like in the end, they're what ended up happening was very much different from, you know, because the nature of whatever we read brings yeah. to the pieces, you know. Um, so, yeah. Now, in terms of, like, taking this short uh, and expanding it into, like, a feature-length film, what facets of it, what themes, what is it that you want to expand on, like, when you when you make it to a feature length? Well, the first, I mean, the biggest thing we're expanding is we're basically, we're, we're telling both sides of the story. Uh -huh. We're giving some, you know, we're expanding the character of Sarah. Um, and we're expanding the character of Matt, obviously. So you're seeing both sides of how they're both, you know, um, dealing with this in their own ways. And a few, a few of the other characters we're expanding as well. Um, we're trying to figure, you know, we're working on figuring out, you know, stylistically how to, because you know, the short has got this interesting style to it, and how to how to uh, translate that into a feature. Um, but still want to do it a lot, a lot of it in the same way with the improvisation and things like that, because it seemed to work in the short. Uh, yeah, and I, I think w the other thing we're, we're trying to do is uh, w the idea that we're taking is is the the essence of loss mm -hmm. and the fact that you know we're starting off with these two people losing each other and losing this relationship that at some point they cared enough about to stay in, mm -hmm. but um, as it goes on, uh, sort of investigating that you know every moment is a little bit of a loss, and right. by the end, um, the, the that there's a there's a flip of of. Another loss sort of trumps mm -hmm. the, the the loss of you know and life moves on mm -hmm. and sort of investigating that. In the beginning of after you left, uh, you guys have already broken up, and so my question is, is if you expanded this into a, a feature length film, would you have that relationship at the beginning, like for the audience to see, or, or do you, would you imagine them starting at the film broken up? and then the rest of it kind of takes place. I yeah. mean, we want to try to work in some elements of, so you get an idea of how they were when they were together. Uh -huh. uh, we're still kind of working on how to fit that in, yeah. but we do plan, the thought is to start the film the moment that the relationship ends yeah. and go from there, just to, to stay with the, uh, the title, really. Was it all shot in New York, or...? Yeah, I mean, it was all like my apartment, his apartment, um, another person's apartment, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and Your then we have top my rooftop. We shot two scenes on, and then a, a cafe and that I've been going to almost yeah. every day for five years. Uh -huh. <laughs> I that, went was, in that was open at the time. It was. It was actually, <laughs> if, if you can see people in the background, yeah, they're, they're, those were, they're those patrons. Were yeah. It's just I know the manager really well, and he was like, please just don't impair our... Yeah. You know. uh -huh. One scene was in the apartment in uh, Brooklyn, uh, or in Manhattan, rather, uh, and the rest of it was in Brooklyn.